Boys, we got a new trailer here for the dawning event. If you've already watched this trailer, feel free to skip to the timestamp above. But if you have not, watch it right now. Hello, dear. What a nice surprise. Baking is good for the soul, don't you think? I bet there are all kinds of recipes you can discover out in the world. Let's get started. There are never too many cookies. That did come out well, didn't it? Are these safe to feed to my birds? They deserve treats too. Ah, that's right, fellas. Christmas is officially here. Now, today, guys, we're going to be going over everything that's going to be dropping in this free event, which will last between December the 14th today until January the 4th. Now, the event spread cheer. This is the perfect time in the year to show our new Elixney and Cabal friends that our life is not just struggle and strife. Meet Eva Levante in the tower and earn dawning spirits by completing festive missions, baking toasty treats, and exchanging gifts. There are new rewards to unwrap and stasis infused snowballs to throw. Now moving on to the gifts and ice surprise. The Vapor Will Spin Exotic Ship, Fractal Spiral Sparrow, and the Zephyr Legendary Sword make their donning debut alongside new unlockable upgrades that provide bonus rewards and improved donning weapon drops. Gotta say the cosmetics here look pretty good. The sword is actually probably the most interesting one of them all as it actually comes with a new trait called Cold Steel which states powered sword hits slow targets. Now the reason why this trait is so interesting is the question comes up, can you sell proc focusing lens again focusing lens allows your light based abilities to do more damage against opponents that are affected by stasis so could you go over there for instance do a sword power hit slow the target and then proceed to use your super or whatever other light abilities and get the bonus damage we're assuming yes but we're going to be testing that here today now eververse shine bright what do you get for a guardian who has it all how about an ornament set so stunning that even your enemies will finally recount their ill-fated dawning duel with devastatingly dashing defender of light ah oh, not bad now an enchanting emblem head to the tower chat with eva levante and complete the introduction to this year's donning to unlock the limited time light string emblem which is this sexy emblem right here looking pretty clean now story to new friends even a master strategist like kaino will never see this coming zavala thinks as he tucks her gift under his arm and exits the helm leaving the war table littered with cabal units and crumps striding through the courtyard on his way to the hangar he joins Eva at her holiday oven to watch Saint 14 carefully add another cookie to an already overflowing tray. The Elixney children really like those swaddle ether dips. High above them, as if drawn by the sound of laughter and smell of baked treats, the first snowflake of the season drifts toward the tower. The dawning has begun. Now we also have a bunch of screenshots and we're going to talk about other rewards that are also going to be dropping here from this event or should be dropping from this event. But you get a good look at the different armor pieces and ornaments as well as certain weapons and it looks like we might be getting what? A wrist runner ornament as well as some sexy ghosts look at this one it's got antlers as well as a number of 4k wallpapers guys if you're interested in this but let's talk about rewards first up we know the sword is going to be dropping but i don't know exactly all the roles that are going to be dropping on it but another weapon that's supposed to be dropping from this event will be cold front this is a kinetic submachine gun shoots at 750 rounds per minute i know it kind of looks like anio but no it's in the aggressive archetype and its roles are actually really good you've got surplus subsistence Combine that with Rampage or even Surround it. For my PvE players, a one-for-all subsistence role sounds really good. Now, the new traits that are found on it is, of course, Perpetual Motion and Harmony, both of which would pair wonderfully here, as the handling and stability bonuses from Perpetual is extremely noticeable. Combine that and its swap speed alongside Harmony. Say, for instance, you get a kill with a sniper and then follow up with a cleanup kill with Harmony and Cold Front. This is actually a really good combination. And if that swap speed isn't fast enough, you can still do things like Quick Draw and Harmony together. Regardless, I find that all the roles here are really, really good for both PvE and for PvP. Now, another weapon that's supposed to be dropping from this event is, of course, Glacial Chasm. Now, we've had a lot of different changes this year with fusion rifles. We've talked about fusion rifles in great depth. And for me, the meta archetype inside of PvP is the main ingredient archetype, right? Think precisions. Glacial is that high impact archetype, which did have its charge time increased here. However, out of all the high impacts, Glacial Chasm is really, really good. First up, under 
pressure is such a good perk on fusion rifles. And some of my favorite roles were actually a high impact reserve under pressure roll together. Harmony is also not a bad option here as it does boost that damage. You can get a cleanup kill with say a primary weapon and immediately boom, you've got an increase in damage there with Glacial Chasm, which considering that damage bonus, there's probably going to be the potential to two bolt kill with this fusion, which is nuts. Now, the combination that I'm really looking forward to is actually the subsistence roll with Reservoir Burst. Fellas, that is so nasty. Considering the AOE explosion from Reservoir Burst, getting multi kills, you're going to be looking at a situation there where every single kill will pretty much auto reload the weapon with subsistence. All around the board, though, everything looks good here. You've got surplus, you've got slide shot, you've got killing win. Some of these are a little easier to proc. Backup plan is still a little iffy for me, but we may be able to make it work here on Galatia. Regardless, the rolls here on this fusion rifle are looking fantastic. Now, the other weapon that's dropping is, of course, the machine gun, the avalanche. Now, this weapon also got some new rolls. It does solar damage, and it's present in the adaptive frame archetype. Now, considering it does solar damage, and it comes with a perk like dragonfly, obviously, we're already thinking about warmont cells. I know warmont cells aren't exactly meta, but they're still nice to proc, and if you're building out for it, dragonfly with solar mods and a solar based weapon can produce those warmont cells. Outside of that, you do have adrenaline junkie, which just got a buff, and I love the idea of the combination of adrenaline junkie and subsistence together. And I know you have swashbuckler here, and depending on your build, like if you're rocking a melee based build, just go swashbuckler subsistence. If you're rocking a grenade based build, go adrenaline junkie subsistence. If you're just running and gunning, go auto loading holster. The only perk I'm not really rushing to get is one with vorpal. And not that vorpal is bad, but it does only give you a 10% bonus versus what it used to give, which was a 15% bonus. So personally, I think I'm going to be leaning towards swashbuckler or adrenaline junkie over what we used to do in the past, which is just default to vorpal. For PvP though, for my console users, I think Zen moment tap the trigger would be fantastic. And if you can live without Zen moment, surplus and tap the trigger. Both of those combinations are really, really good. And I know there's going to be some questions brought up about tap the trigger versus opening shot. Opening shot improves the accuracy and range. Tap the trigger improves the stability and accuracy. I personally find that the accuracy bump from tap the trigger is even stronger than that of opening shot. So for me, I think I'm going to go with a tap the trigger roll with either killing wind surplus to bring inside of PVP. Maybe even rock some high caliber rounds. Regardless, every single one of these weapons that are dropping are looking very, very good this year with their random rolls. So fellas, we'll be farming it right now over on Twitch. So come watch us live. We'll be going all day, finding God rolls for each one of these weapons. So be looking out for reviews on each one of them. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.